Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Marilyn. So for today's video, alam ko na maraming naghanap dito through YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. And ito na, sasagutin ko na yung mga katanungan nyo guys. So anyway, earlier we just go to US Embassy for our legal capacity to marry. And yes, yeah, stay tuned. Sasabihin ko sa inyo yung mga requirements requirements need you dalhin and mga bawal dalhin and what you need to do and how much you're gonna pay and yeah stay tuned wait hey guys so we're here para i-discuss sa inyo about the legal capacity to marry so what you need to do first before you're planning to go there you need to you need to print out a book Oh, yeah, you need, yeah. To book an you need to book an appointment, guys, sa U.S. Embassy. You have two options there. You can just search U.S. Embassy. U.S. Embassy, yeah, that's it. And then there are two options here in the Philippines. Yeah, you ha there are two options here in the Philippines, which is Manila and Cebu. And then, guys, if you're planning to get married here in the Philippines and you're single, so this is for you. Like, not married yet because I don't know the process for... Um, getting a legal capacity to those married, divorce, or something. I don't, I don't know about that. But he is actually not married. So yun yun lang yung share ko. Like alam you guys na I'm having hard time. I'm having hard time finding a solution or finding information about this. Like how you can get a legal capacity. What you need to do. Blah 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 blah. And then I end up of saying to him that he, he need to go to the U.S. Embassy or consulate there in the United States. But we don't have a U.S. Embassy in the States because That's we're already, US. yeah, we're already in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, or the Philippine Embassy, but but we need to have the notarization in the U.S. Embassy. So, so first the thing, the first thing you need to do, guys, is book an appointment through online. And once you book the appointment, be there an hour ahead of your appointment. Yep. Yeah, one hour before. And then make sure you have the copy. Uh, print it because it says there, uh, kailan mo siya print. And then um, before you go there, uh, the notarization is actually located sa um, second uh, door. Huh? Yeah, it's, second gate. It's door two. Um, but if you want to print out your notary form beforehand and fill it out mm -hmm. from questions one to five but don't sign it because the there. notary has to sign it yeah you can't sign it yeah so um yeah door two and then pagpasok mo dun guys you are not allowed to bring bag yeah you can't bring a laptop or ipad in the only thing you can bring in is your uh, is your phone but they're not also allowing you yeah, to you to you bring, bring phone, phone inside they give you a little card so that you can come back later and, get, and it. get it and you know what what happened guys so we i brought my laptop there because we're planning to you know photocopy the paperwork and end up of they're not accepting laptop to be placed yeah, with them they don't want any electronics in there. yeah like like wala akong mapagkakatiwalaan guys that's why i find i found a vendors outside and it will cost 500 pesos just to, you know, put your things with them and take, and they're gonna just take. For them to watch it for. For minutes, uh-uh. And then once you go there, um, there's a waiting area. You just need to wait for a few minutes. And then they will call you. And then you're gonna go inside. And then you're gonna present your photocopy, photocopy of your printed booking confirmation. And then once done, they also need to check your passport if that that is much on the yeah they make sure that you're who you say you are yes and then guys it's okay if you have companion because i actually go with him through the entire process it's okay if your partner mm -hmm. you and your partner can go there and then it's after 50 bucks overall. not yet <laughs> <laughs> and then after that you're gonna go to the second floor you need to wait your number to be called and then once it called you need to go to the window and they will ask the booking confirmation which 
the booking confirmation and also your passport just to confirm yeah. again <laughs> and then after that they're gonna ask you if you have a what is it called um the paper notarization like yeah. If you um, have the sheet with you already filled out. Yeah, among six of the, you know, person there. They didn't have it filled out. And if they did have it filled out, they even signed it, which you're not supposed to do. Yeah, and some just have the correct one. Because, guys, all you need to sign there. My sample form naman dun sa, ano, sa email. Uh, after you magbook ng confirmation, may sample dun na form. I-download nyo lang siya. And then, filapan nyo lang yung name mo. Name, your passport number. Uh, it's for the U.S. citizen na. Name of the U.S. citizen, passport number, address where he stayed here in the Philippines. What else, babe? I think that's it. Mm, there's another question they ask you, but that's really it. Uh huh. And then don't sign the other things that you're not sure and don't make a signature yet because they do that themselves. Uh -uh. They sign it and seal it and stamp of approval and stuff on there. Yeah, and after that, uh, they will send you to the um, cashier to pay for fifty dollars. It's either you can pay Philippine peso, uh, U.S. dollar, or card. So those are acceptable, so it's okay. And there's no other requirements, just your passport and the booking confirmation and you're good to go. And after that, after you pay for the fifty dollars, you need to go back to the to the window where they called you and then they're gonna just give your notarization and yeah, they're gonna the receipt and everything for the money and they give you your notarization and your signed passport and stamped and everything. And it's actually sealed too with a US thing. It's so easy, guys. Like, we're just there like 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes, then we're done. Yeah, we were there waiting for a little while. Uh uh. Until our because interview, they, then, they actually took lunch. Yeah, but once we got in there and went up to the window, it only took like 5, 10, 15 minutes tops. Mm -mm. So, guys, sa mga nagpaplano na magpapakasal ng US fiance or young US boyfriend you it's so easy to get a legal capacity to marry here as long as you are not as married and before. everything as long as you have the right paperwork yeah you. even though if you're married but we don't know the process of you're married or divorced or something but I this is bad for the couple ahead because he had been married before ah the the, the old man mm -hmm. okay yeah and, and he hadn't filled out any of the paperwork yeah, and you know what? We're so stressed about it. Like, I look at everywhere and I couldn't find the correct information how to get the legal capacity to marry My because it's so confusing online, guys. So, this is the right video for you if you wanted to get the legal capacity to marry. So, congratulations in advance. That's what the consulate told us. Congratulations in advance. <laughs> congratulations, guys. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for watching and that's it. Mm -hmm. Bye.